Good morning, happy Father's Day. This is the review of the Tortoise Weekend Reports for June 16th, 2018. Market remains in bullish quiet. On an annual basis, looking at NDX 260, we are at the higher end of neutral at 80 out of 100. That's right on the threshold of, excuse me, of overbought. On a 10 day basis, using the 10 day NDX, uh, we're in the middle of neutral at 56 out of 100. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looking at the market mosaic price with respect to the 200 day moving average is yellow bullish at 4.4 percent. Pulled back a little bit this week. The um, intermediate trend measured by the five day slope of the 50 uh, is green bullish at 0.62. Um, the risk index is the 30 period moving average of the VIX divided by the 10. 1.0 is the boundary between risk on and risk off. Current reading is at 1.084, uh, so we are in risk on. Take that number and compare it to the last 5,000 trading days. We compute the risk Z, and uh, that scores at 0.83. It means we're 0.83 standard deviations above the long term. Uh, average of the uh, risk index. Here you see a 90-day histogram um, that shows a a low, a higher low, a higher low, and so we're still in the green and favoring the long side. Uh, although uh, you can see that if we have call this a high, a lower high, a lower high, um, this is posturing really at a critical state to go either way, so we're going to play this one carefully. Um, the U.S. successfully navigated some political uh, white water uh, with, the, with the North Koreans, and that turned out to be pretty favorable. And so uh, we are postured to go in either direction strong here, and um, uh, the fact that we're still in bull quiet is favorable to the long side, in my view. Blended monthly rebalancing, uh, the strength in the U.S. Uh, still well postured. These are the leaders in the clubhouse based on Friday's close. So again, you see it's the uh, all U.S. all the time. Uh, ETF2 theoretical exposure is 70 percent. Uh, looking at a couple of the ETF32, uh, ETF portfolios under blended monthly. Uh, this, uh, let's see, energy, discretionary, uh, the Russell tech. So these are all really favorable um, risk on kinds of positions. But you, you do see kind of a mixed bag here with a lot of the uh, emerging markets, especially Latin America and Brazil just getting smashed. Uh, you know, politics and economics just, uh, uh, that's actually a place to make some money. In the Dow 30, um, I'll be looking at Boeing as a potential buy on dip or as a potential turning point that's always of interest. You sort by the percentage and then I look for uh, either the uh, greens or reds uh, as a way to um, uh, look for key turning points among the leaders. So reinforcing momentum in Nike and a potential turning point in Boeing or buy on dip in Boeing. Um, 3M is still holding pretty strongly above that 200 uh, support level. Uh, it sort of looks like it's kind of stabilized here after three and six months of just getting smashed. GE continuing to suffer. Uh, there's got to be some value plays developing here in GE and Goldman uh, and JP Morgan. So let's be watching the financial sector uh, for potential. Uh, sector spiders, again you can see what we just saw that the um, financials have been, been getting smashed while the rest of the U.S. has been generally favorable. Um, oil and gas is starting to give it up. Uh, healthcare rotating uh, into the strong position here um, along with uh, IT, uh, health services. So there's some real differentiation occurring. Uh, pharmaceuticals in the middle now showing some strength this is how this is what it looks like when they're moving off the bottom 
towards the top short term strength and long term under um, underperformance means that this is starting to uh, to assume a leadership position as is consumer discretionary ETF max these are the symbols out of the 500 ETF database um, that have been dominating on the uh, three and six month and then on the tactical display here weakness starting to creep here into into energy um, so let's keep our eye on oil USO uh, got smashed so some good swing trades available there uh, in the market health check the vertical blue lines are 10 20 30 40 and 50 days of look back the horizontal pink lines are price targets from previous swing highs this at all time swing high. Uh, the red lines are support levels that are price targets that price should uh, should roll over. Um, these support regions are related to the the hump and the belly of the dragon on the previous iterations, and so I really see that whole section in here as a support region. Um, the entire dragon is out of that, along with the PSAR, so. We've got some legs potential, uh, potentially growing here in the uh, in this in this leg up. So if we think of this as leg one, leg two, leg three, that's why I treat this as a real critical state. We're coming near some all-time highs. Uh, people that have been playing this al along the way from 260 want to preserve this more than they want to gain that. I think uh, we need to see breakouts above 288 to really feel comfortable. Uh, the length of this PSAR trend is about as long as these previous legs. And so that would not surprise me to find this as a short-term uh, a short-term high. And a pullback to the Bollinger Band mean would not be unusual, that $3 move back here. But you can see we've got the 30-period regression channel and the 10-period regression channel pointing slightly higher. Uh, and favorable. Uh, we're starting to see a, a collapse of volatility as the Bollinger Bands pinch. Looking at the MACD histogram, noticing the uh, the com range compression in here. This is the difference between the 10 period and the 30 period moving average. And so that volatility in there is shrinking. That means that that's why you get this range compression in here. And the slightly upward tilt is why we're above the zero line. So this tells us have a long bias. Uh, the 10 is still uh, the signal line is still above the moving average, so it's favorable to the upside, uh, and that's the way to bet. Uh, we do have our measured uh, stop losses uh, here. You can see the 200 period moving average uh, trucking along here about 266. So uh, favorable for the long side, uh, cautiously optimistic, ready to reward. The resumption of the trend uh, with momentum, um, being cautious about energy, which is beginning to weaken. Financials must be ready for a turnaround pretty soon. Uh, mean U.S. is favored over the rest of the world. If you want to be on the short side, um, there's still room to exploit uh, Brazil or Latin America. Really, the rest of the world suffering, only the U.S. in good shape here. Consumer discretionary, again, at XLY, that's an area. Energy, I think this is going to turn pretty soon. Uh, we had some weakness just the last few days. Uh, world market model, U.S. small caps, anything U.S., the rest of the world suffering, except for the U.K. and France. Uh, Brazil, oof, Latin American emerging markets getting smashed. ETF top 30 telling the same stories. Natural gas making a turnaround here, uh, along with retail, biotech. Uh, again, more technology and small caps. In the green and white, the were that was good. Now they're great. Time to exploit some new strength with some new leadership. And this green and yellow is even more so. Right? 
shift into the daily. Um, 10 day max pains in GE, Caterpillar, Boeing. Intel should be interesting because tech's been strong, but Intel has been lagging. Um, so GE, um, I li as a bottom feeder myself, I like this. A two to one auto framer reward to risk. Um, among the most volatile, 2.3% among ATR percentage, and it's only a 30 cent frog box. I'm mean, sorry, 30 cent ATR and an 18 cent frog box. Uh, it's been an, a clear underperformer on every measured time frame, uh, and it broke down on uh, Friday to make a new 10 day low, a significant new 10 day low, and a one month low. And the same thing with Caterpillar. So let's take a look at those. All right, so you can see Caterpillar, Caterpillar has broken that 10-day uh, low and a 30-day low. Um, we're short. Um, this is front-running the uh, the actual short-side bias here, um, but that you got to respect a 10-day and a 30-day breakdown. Uh, I'm looking at um, price targets at uh, 143. Kind of the belly of the dragon uh, and the next one is really below the swing low uh, here I, I like to stop just on the other side of the dragon and uh, GE we wanted to look at yeah same thing um, high, high higher high and then this is the this is that collapsing dragon structure. So whenever we see that, these prices in here are indicators of short side opportunities. This is where you get the short side bias, just as a point of reference. So. Um, if I had been better, or if I had been managing GE, um, this would essentially be the location to get short in here. Um, when we get price below here and it confirms below this, uh, I would treat this as the uh, perfectly played hint short side. Um, the fact that now we got this rollover and then failing right away that when the 10 fails this is like another collapsing dragon using the RL10 and breaking through the dragon the RLXD uh, next next stop is here uh, I could also argue that uh, this would be the next uh, critical price target this is where I would add a second position I mean, the way I'm going to play GE is if I get a, a new low of the day, like it opens inside the range, breaks down, uh, I'll get short right there. Certainly short not later than here. Price target at 1241. Um, yeah, so we're below the zero line, uh, and this is just starting to roll. This just started to roll over and collapse again. Uh, so GE is going to suffer. Okay. Um, in the ETFs, there was a, a, a slight bounce in EWZ in Brazil, uh, but you can see that that's just been getting smoked. We'll be watching that for a short term uh, swing low, but incredibly volatile. Um, the VIX had a one day pop. Uh, some breakdowns here in uh, emerging markets, Asia less, Japan, um, big time crush in gold uh, as is silver some frog numbers beginning to improve uh, lots of RSI 2 short sides uh, um, triggering shorts this little cluster here in the energy and metals and mining that I think there's some momentum plays available in that as well let's take a look at energy Yeah. 
uh, just broke the long term for value a high lower high um, this is one I think if it if it breaks below this is one to continue to explore We're just coming out of a long period of weakening and getting ready to cross the zero line um, target on this one I still study as a downside target so lots to choose from um, super pitches in silver and apple let's see what a super pinch in apple looks like it's been a while since we've had uh, yeah there we are the Z3 lines are pinching excessive 30 day compression a breakdown below Get on this. We've been trading Apple quite a bit in the past. So let's clean this up a little bit. I'll zoom in so we can see the see the deal. Yeah, I think uh, on Apple, I think uh, you got a reinforced short side. Uh, if it breaks new day a new um, a new low of the day, then that clears. Yeah. Uh, first target 185. Then I would just I would go 183 and a half, 180. Um, that's the beginning of something. Get two dots on the piece are meaning short side is available. Uh, this is a tactical short. Uh, the signal line has to cross the dotted line before we get uh, a short side bias. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if this support level holds and we get some upward movement then uh, there's this is really Apple in a critical state 10 day low and I, let's frame this one um, with a tight get long here and get short there that's how to play that one and take the first directional move And if it's the short side, that's our t price target for the first. And it's got to clear the RL10 to the upside. Those are your first two reinforcements. That's where you add a second position on both of those, uh, both directions. That's how we'll play Apple. Um, Disney has uh, is the strongest Z pinch, or I mean the uh, Z excursion. It's uh, two standard deviations above its long term. Uh, that's one that could be played for additional momentum. It's the relative strongest. That's what that looks like. This is where we pick up the long side bias in Disney. This is where Disney emerges from that red river, the signal line, right in here. And nothing but full steam ahead. So reward Disney the upside. The reversion to the mean trade, like if it collapses below here, the reversion to the mean trade target is 102. So when you get these extended moves, you're either betting for more momentum or reversion to the mean. Uh, structured trading in the auto framer and with the regression line fractals um, the top shelf these are the deep value plays like uh, 3m we've been watching uh, we, we said that was holding above the 200 let's just take a quick look at 3m so, <clears throat> so 200 has been holding and we got this uh, this pinch. Um, I would I would buy the breakout above uh, 206 with the stop at 199, so the seven dollar stop. In fact, I would buy the breakout 
of yesterday's that could be seen as a bottoming tail and <coughs> excuse me the net reversal so we have a long side bias uh, I'm buying a um, I'll buy this one here I think that's a bottoming tail uh, a long range and then a sharp reversal intraday to close in the top 10% um, that's a good stop right there so about uh, five dollar, a five dollar stop, two and a half percent, and then the upside target. So if we were to buy that there, let's see some evidence of strength there, right? Um, it's got to get above this RL10. That would be the first vote of confidence. That's not where you add a position, but that's where you start to breed a little bit. Then it's got to close this gap, uh, and then above here it's free and clear. Uh, and then the next stop is the uh, the fair value. And let's put where would our stop be here? And since we trade, we frame this in both directions. Would I take the short on this one? Absolutely. It's been horrible. Uh, and then the downside targets were just, uh, we would say, belly of the dragon, belly of the RL10. And I would add a position at each one of those and then look out below 3M. Yeah. Yeah, so if it made like, that's almost like a, uh, a two year low if it breaks out of here. And we would have one, two, three positions short at the beginning of a collapse. That's where you want to be. So that's a reasonable uh, trade frame in 3M right there. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything we want to talk about. Your daily squeezes. Yep. Okay, uh, this is Ken of Tortoise Capital. Let's keep our wrist measured and our powder dry.